So this is a fitness tag video and there's 12 questions and I'm gonna run through them all right now. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Charlene from Just Simple Fitness and if you are new here then subscribe if you want simplified information on food and exercise because that's what the channel's all about. But anyway, I've been tagged in a, a video by Jack Husband, so I'm gonna leave his details in the description. He's a fitness channel as well. Well, he is not a fitness channel, he's a person, but he has a fitness channel, so you can go and check him out. But um, there's 12 questions. I've not looked at the questions. I did watch Jack's video. I've not looked at the questions. There's no pre-prepared answers. I'm just gonna try and run through it and see how it goes. All right, so question number one. If you never got into bodybuilding, stroke lifting, what would you be doing? Now, for me, this isn't a full-time job anyway, um, going to the gym and keeping fit, so I would always have fitness in my life, so it's a bit of a tricky question that. I'm not trying to avoid it, but I would always, you know, try and include it somehow. So, question number two. What is your favorite or least favorite body part to work? My least, favorite body part is my abs because for some reason it's that exercise that's at the end of the workout and I always forget to do it. Do you know when you've done your workout it might be a, a chest and tricep workout you've done it and um, you do your cardio and you shower you go home like literally today I just realized I didn't do my abs it's just easily forgotten about and I don't have any dedicated ab days so Abs is my least favorite. My most favorite, hmm, what is my most favorite body part? I just generally like doing full body workouts, um, but the exercise that I like to do the most is pull-ups, um, because now I can do 10 pull-ups, so uh, unassisted, so I'm quite proud of that. Question three, what would your last meal on earth be? So some of you have probably not heard of Pepe's, but it's like a grilled chicken uh, takeaway place. And I really like the peri salt that they put on the chips and the chips are really nice. The chicken's great. So that would be my last meal. I do like um, junk food, treats, cheats, whatever you want to call it. And I've done some videos on that. I would, it, I do like KFC, but it, it would be Pepe's. And if you are in the UK, Honestly, go and check out Pepe's, right? So question four, mm, if you had to choose between eating only carbs or fats, what would you choose? That is an easy one, carbs, bring on the carbs. Question five, who is your crush in the fitness industry? Um, I don't have any fitness crushes. There's actually um, somebody at the moment that I'm really inspired by and I'm going to put her details um, in the description or I'll put it in this video in you know below here and um, she's she's got a good physique great personality on the camera and she's working out how I like to work out so I've been watching some of her stuff question number six if you had to pick one food to have zero calories but still taste the same for the rest of your life what would you choose so straight away to my mind donuts come to my mind but actually it would be the chocolate foxes biscuits because I like to dunk them in coffee and uh, that's my guilty pleasure so bring on those biscuits all day long. Question number seven. Would you rather never be allowed to lift again but have your ideal physique or be allowed to lift but work your butt off for your physique? I enjoy going to the gym, so for me, I would rather just work my butt off and uh, go to the gym because there's nothing better than feeling good after a good workout. And even if you've not got your ideal physique, then, you know, I don't mind working for it. Number eight, what are your short and long-term fitness goals? So if you are watching my fitness 12 week challenge, I'm a part of a collab group, you will know that I've been trying to get leaner. Um, so probably it's in between of kind of like staying lean and maintaining my current physique. So that's, would that be a short term or a long term goal? 
Um, I suppose that would be long term. So that's my long term goal. Well, even though I'm, I'm already at the physique that I like now. But yeah, long term goal is just to maintain it. And my short term goal, um, I don't actually have a short term goal because I'm always going to be going to the gym anyway. So everything's just long term anyway. Um, the next question, we are on for number nine now. So what is the best thing that has changed about your life since committing to this lifestyle? I suppose since committing to this lifestyle and like I said, uh, fitness has always been a part of my life and I grew up playing sports, but it's nice to have friends around you that all have the same men mindset. They all have the same main mentality and yeah, that's, that's a nice feeling just to have friends that have things in common with you and you know you can have people to talk to about food and fitness you can all wear your tracksuits on the same day and go to the gym so yeah just i suppose that's a bonus for me number 10 favorite thing about competing or fitness in general if you don't compete so i don't compete and i don't intend on competing because it's probably a bit too much hard work, even though I don't mind putting in the work, but it's not somewhere that I see myself uh, being or striving to be on the stage competing. I used to play basketball at a high level and I just loved the team effort and the teamwork around um, a team sport. So that's my favorite thing. And it's the same thing with going to the gym as well. You know, if you go with a friend or you've got friends in the gym, it's that team, you know, company. And I'll keep saying the word team, but that's what it is. <laughs> right, the last one, and I think I said there was 12 questions, but there's 11. What is your favorite way to get your cardio in? So currently at this moment in time, I'm staying away from that high intensity workouts and I'm doing walking on the treadmill because it's working for me and it's nice, it's easy, it's relaxing. You can listen to your music, my hair doesn't frizz up and it might take a little bit longer to burn the calories, burn the fat, but it's okay, I'm enjoying it, I enjoy it. So I'm just sticking to walking on the treadmill and I was, if I was fast on my feet, I'd be able to think of a question 12, but I can't. So next steps for me is to nominate two people to answer these 11 questions. And my two people that I'm going to nominate are So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe got to know a little bit more about me. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you've not already and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and if you've got any suggestions for any videos, then please just put it in the comments below because I always read the comments and I uh, reply back to them as well.